Hi, my Virgos. It's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. For those who are viewing me for the first time, welcome. I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages. My Virgos, this is your general tarot card reads, okay? If you're looking for your love reads, I worked on all 12 zodiac signs. It's out there. I don't date them. I don't put time on it, whatever. Um, so if the, I, I do title them, so if the title catches your eye, then maybe it's meant for you to hear. Maybe there are some messages there for you to hear, all right? Otherwise, I'm, I'm working on my general reads for now. Um, also, join me live on Sundays. You know, for those who do view me on Sundays, I did miss this past Sunday. Mm. Just so you know, going forward, I'm going to do bi-weekly energy reads, all right? So I'm, I'm still doing live on Sundays, but it's going to be bi-weekly. Um, the weather's getting warmer here where I live, so... You know, instead of going on every Sunday, I will catch you bi-weekly. With that being said, my lovelies, I will see you this Sunday on the 28th, okay? So, you know, um, I'll expect to see you there if you can. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to pick, to watch it later, okay? Because these live on Sundays, um, what I do is I pick your your energy for the, for, in this case, is going to be for the next two weeks, Okay. I pick up your energy, your current energy, your past energy, um, advice. Um, I also see what's dictating you in the cosmos for the time that I, I put it, okay? So bi-weekly, live on Sunday, energy read from now on until I guess it gets cold. I don't know what to tell you. All right. Also, um, one, more, one last thing. I am opening up my Patreon page uh, sometime this spring. I'll give you a launch date. Um, when I when I know for sure Riley and I are um, you know love doing astrology and so if you are interested in astrology you know um, definitely um, you know check it out we'll, we'll let you know when the launch date's gonna be you know especially if you're into astrology compatibility you know we're also going to give advice and there's so much more other things that that we're going to do um, in the page on the patreon page Okay, I'm over it. <sighs> All right, Virgos, let's see what's going on with you. Today I am where I am going to be using the um, Rider Waite, and um, I'm going to clarify it with the Edgar Allan Poe. Um, I'm also going to be using my past life oracle cards. All right, this is something that I do when I work on general reads. I like to use my um, past life oracle cards to see what other messages are out there. For you Virgos or for your person you know they they do represent um, past life but it also picks up you know um, any blockages that or challenges that may be happening because of your past life or karma so forth all right let's get started let's get started all right first spread Here you are, nice and strong. All right, so I have Pi um, sorry, Pisces. Well, you could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, but I also have Virgo and Gemini. I have here Three of Swords, Air also, if that means anything to you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Virgo. Um, this is the Magician. This is Two of Cups. For your first spread. Um, who is this person? I'm picking up Leo. Taurus, Capricorn. All right. Um, there's someone here manifesting you, but I don't like it. 
It's like you're being watched in a very creepy way, Virgos. And I don't know who this is. Um, you know, with the Three of Swords and the Two of Cups being here, it could be someone um, that you had an intimate relationship with or maybe even have one now. Um, maybe someone you just started talking to. Uh, could be a friend. Um, even an enemy with the Three of Swords here. Uh, I don't I don't know if you have any enemies or um, you know any differences with 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 someone or a couple of people I, I, you're being watched though is what I'm saying and I don't so manifest I, I guess for a small group of you this person um they have some type of um they have the power of manifestation does that make sense so it doesn't apply for all of you it does not apply for all of you i don't you know i am picking up that there is someone here that had i mean i just started the reading so we'll keep on reading but there is someone here that has the power of manifestation you know um i i guess i'll 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 explain to you more about what that manifestation is, okay? Because um, that's all I could say for now. Let's clarify. Alright, to clarify, I have um, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups in the reverse, and the Ten of Cups. Interesting. All right, uh, Six of Swords, Queen of Cups in the reverse, Ten of Cups in the upright. Um, I do send some travel here for you, Virgos. Um, it's like leisure, <laughs> more like leisure or um, if it's work, it's work. But um, mm, yeah, I, I sense the leisure. Uh, pleasure, even pleasure, <laughs> even like a date. Um, it's like something new or something that you like to do that's fun with the Six of Swords here. Could be with a water sign, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, there's something going on with uh, within your family. There's like a rift going on inside your family. I don't know if it really pertains to you per se, like inside your immediate family. When I mean your immediate family, like your household. So I don't know if this really pertains to your house. It could be. It could be. I feel like I, I, I may talk to two groups here with this energy. So it could be within your household or outside of your household. Nevertheless, it's there's some type of rift disagreement going on in someone's household could be because someone cheated lied manipulating anger misplaced emotion here so you would know that more than me cancer if that means anything to you but this is water sign anyway cancer pisces scorpio all right okay interesting um you would you would know what that means um because that clarifies this energy so i don't know if that goes along with that energy uh virgos you know i don't know if it's separate or kind of flows into each other all right second spread we have here three of wands Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords. All right. Let's see. All right, so Strong Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
if that means anything to you. All right, um, this is a waiting game here. And somebody's being impatient. Somebody's making someone wait on purpose. Or someone is put on hold, like someone is being put on hold on purpose or or just whatever it's like uh, <sighs> with the knight of swords here it could be a strong like i said air or fire sign but um i feel like you're putting someone on hold or they feel like they're on hold um there there's like a waiting game for them the, you know like this is an impatient person here with the knight of swords you could, so someone here is very impatient could this be you, Virgos? <laughs> you being ruled by Mercury. Um, yeah, this is impatience. All right, let's clarify, because I want to know why someone's being impatient. I'm curious. All right, um, look at that. Uh, the chariot, the hair font. This is, this is crazy. The Five of Swords and the Sun in the reverse. Um, so Cancer, Taurus, if that means anything to you. What do I sense a fight? Um, and then I have here Five of Swords and the Sun card. So Leo, you know, I got three majors to clarify it here with the Five of Swords. Okay. Um... This is like a fight over here. Jesus. A verbal diarrhea. <sighs> I mean, I did sense some type of dis dysfunction going on here in someone's someone's household. It doesn't have to be a household. It could be someone's, you know, whatever, job. It could be, you know, um, it's a family member or a mom or the mother of your child could be the father of your child um somebody may have um leo i think i said that right leo cancer taurus um it's like someone wants to come towards you look at this the waiting someone's trying to come towards you vice versa if it's vice versa um it's so creepy though like this is kind of what i sensed here didn't i say that as i said creep and you know i don't mean to offend anyone but it's creepy because they're being all silent about it with the chariot and the hair font like very silent, very um, stalkish, even um, some you know some somebody here is very strategic. This is someone um, that's very strategic. They know how to play the game of life. <laughs> Interesting. Ever 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 heard of the game of life? I don't know, do they still have that board game? I never played it, but I always wonder what that game board was about. Anyway, um, this, but this is what it sounds like, like a chess game. Like somebody here knows how to play life. Like they're, I mean, listen, that's amazing. Like they're giving the, they're, they're giving the gift of how to deal with life. Some people, you know, and listen, we all have our, our up and down moments and then sometimes we're in limbo. Um, this person here has had lots of trials and tribulations, challenges, obstacles, but it's almost like they've gotten like a, 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 a ticket or not a ticket. It's more like um, the power. See, this is what I said. The power of manifestation. <gasps> Bingo. They've been given the gift to deal with it and conquer it. I don't do they I don't even know if they know it. I mean, 
this is power this is somebody with power i don't know if this is you virgos or the person that you're dealing with wow okay um and then i have the five of swords and the sun card this is a breakup i don't know what else to say it's to just keeps telling me the same thing a breakup a fight okay um All right, let's go to your last spread. All right, so I have the Nine of Pentacles, your energy, Virgo, again, the Fool, and the Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting, because the Ten of Cups was here. So I got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Um, and then interesting because I have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles in one spread here. This is interesting. Somebody here is single, lives by themselves, and they're happy. Like somebody here is happy with their life. Like, and when I mean happy with your life, you know, content, right? If you know, and that's beautiful. Honestly, whether you're single or not, I, I, I do sense a lot of you are very independent, whether you're single or not. You're super independent. You, it's like you're content with the full card here. Be careful with vulnerability um, or being naive, my lovely Virgos. You're very smart. I know that doesn't happen to you very often, but sometimes we get slip-ups, right? Um, it's just a little message that I'm getting. Be careful with, um, I don't know, I'm hearing vulnerability your vulnerable side may bite you in the ass um and again i'm i i'm saying that because it could be a prediction of someone or maybe already happened but like someone bamboozing you like a um a trickster um the fool card represents a fool you know it's the first deck of the tarot card it's a first card sorry the first major of the of the tarot deck so it's brand new, you know, new to this world, ready to conquer it, you know, ready for a journey. Um, so I don't know what your journey is. It could be, you know, um, finance with the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles here. It could be maybe a relationship that you're in or thinking about getting in. It could be even contracts like home with the ten of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles. Um, you know, whatever that may be, just be very careful, especially if you're going to sign something like I'm hearing it's more, it's like a vulnerable, like your vulnerable side or I trust. Okay. Let's just put it plain and simple. <sighs> Don't trust people all nilly willy, especially if it has to do with finance and your heart. Some of you are, some of you are really are taking a trip. Um, when I look at the full cart, like <laughs> you're packing a bag to go somewhere, um, which is beautiful. I love that. The number 21 may be of significance to you. All right, let's clarify it. All right, let's see, my lovelies. Um, I have here the Emperor and the Hermit. Your energy is here very strong. Um, both these cards were in the reverse. The Emperor, the Hermit, and my Eight of Swords with the Queen of Wands. Um... Um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, I got Virgo, and again, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, if that means anything to you. Um, 
Um, you may be dealing with, uh, I, I, like I sent someone here with a strong fire air sign. All right. Um, you know, I just want to let you know, Virgos, I don't know um, if, I don't know what you're going through. <sighs> vice versa, if it's vice versa. There, there's someone's going through something here. Because I, I just got a very strong message that don't worry, it's going to work out in the end. So, you know, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not being very clear. I don't know if I am being clear or not. I With the message behind your reading, um, you know, of course, if some resonates with you, some, re some may resonate with you some others it's okay that's how tarot tarot works anyway but i i'm getting a very strong message like don't worry it's gonna work out in your favor is what i'm hearing okay with the queen of wands all right okay so with that being said let's see what this is about here Taxes. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I, don't know. I just got. I just heard taxes, but I, I don't know what that means for you, my Virgos. Um, you know, it's is it your home taxes? Like you know, if you own property, your business. Um, you know, what whatever your your yearly you know um, tax. Something about taxes, okay? I, you know that story more than me. Do you need to fill them out? Do you, did you miss something? Are you getting a return? Uh, um, hmm, this is interesting. Meditation. Some of you may need to meditate more. Interesting. All right, because your clarifiers are like little messages. Um, this like with the hermit here and the eight of swords in the reverse. I'm I'm hearing you need to meditate more, Virgos. Um, it's really good to meditate. I know you know, for some people it's hard to do because. With meditating, you really have to shut down your mind and people don't, you know, there's some people that don't know how to do that. How do you shut down your mind? You know, how do you put your mind on sleep mode <laughs> in the middle of the day or, you know, whatever, during meditation? But that's the thing, Virgos. It's like you need to like shed layers, you know, um, off your mind, off your 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 soul, your your spirit. So whatever is is hanging on to you tightly, you need to, you know, disconnect from it or shed shed um, those thoughts and feelings in order to come into this this state of meditation. Um, why am I hearing that for you? It could 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 be interesting. I'm hearing money. Some of you, um, some of you may. I don't know. I feel like you're lost either in, um, or you're trying to find the answer. Not really lost, but maybe you want an uh, uh, an answer when it comes. That's what it is. You want an answer. You're trying to find an answer, and you don't know how to go about it. Um, some of you may have spirit guides, ancestors guiding you, and that's amazing. Some of you may just really need to meditate and really find the answer, is what I'm hearing. So the answer will come to you either through your spirit guides and ancestors or through meditation or all of the above. Whatever, whatever you're seeking, you're seeking for something. What is it that you're seeking? 
um, a lot of you are at a, at a very, um, you're either at a standstill or the total opposite for some of my Virgos. So either your, your life, your life is like hectic right now, or you're really at a standstill. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Um, so you're trying to find some answers or a particular answer. Meditate is what I'm hearing. Okay, there's a there's there's plenty of, of 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 you know what helps you know what really helps is is just basically you know I don't know Google or YouTube um, podcasts you know there's so many um, outlets out there and platforms that that will give you um, a guide to meditate. But just remember what I told you. In order to start, breathing is very important. You gotta pay attention to your breathing. And little by little, start shedding off your thoughts and your feelings in order to get into the state of meditation. All right? Let's see what's going on in your past life. All right, let's see what other messages I could pick up for you, my dolls. So I have Egypt, um, I have Father, I have Phobia, um, at the bottom of the deck I have Karmic Relationship. All right, so I just want to let you know, um, just a reminder that with these karma cards here, you know, it could pick up blockages, um, past life, you know, blockages that may come from a past life, um, karma that may come from a past life, you know, it may, it may or, or, or may not, um, coincide with your reading. All right. So let's see what's going on. Interesting. I saw, where did I see the pyramid card? Where the heck did I see it? Because it grabbed my attention earlier. And I was like, here it is. Um, like I saw the pyramid. This is, this is crazy. Um, it was grabbing my attention earlier. And I said someone here was very strategic. Like they were giving the, 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 the ability to, to manifest and to pay and, and to play the um what the hell did I say like they're they're amazing players when it comes to the game of life that is a that is a skill um interesting whoever you're dealing with whoever is in your life whether you're with this person or not I, 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 I did sense for some of you, it's, you know, either the father of your child, mother of your child, um, doesn't have to be because I got here the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Heraflon, the Emperor, like this is really like the Two of Cups, this is all these cards here, um, you know, individually, I know I, I had read them earlier, you know, in the spread, but I'm just, I just want to show you the cards, okay, because this is a goddamn soulmate of yours. This is soulmate energy. So I don't, what is this? Yeah, okay, the two of cups, soulmate. The ten of cups, this is someone you were with or are with. Um, 
the hair font you might have been married to this person definitely have a hair like a, a, a commitment of some sort um the emperor is here you know a father a mother and then the ten of pentacles you might have shared a home in finance okay so with that being said um with the egypt card here you guys are soulmates you come from like at least oh god i want to say five wow geez five past lives that's crazy five past lives um All right, well, you know who this person is. But, um, and look, I have father here. Not only do I have father, but I have karmic relationship. <sighs> this is, and then I have phobia. This is a very, this took like a crazy turn. Um, but you have to expect that with my past life oracle cards. <sighs> Let me tell you something about this person that is your soulmate. And I'm, gonna, I'm saying soulmate, and I'm not saying twin flame. I don't sense twin flame, you know. Like even with the Jupiter card here, the Wheel of Fortune, it's like soulmate here. You guys have, have gone through four or five lives together. Um, you know, it's, karmic, it's a karmic relationship for a lot of you, but because it's a karmic relationship you know it you know this person is part of your soul tribe <laughs> no let's not you know get that confused um so it's a soulmate i don't know why i'm fear like i'm scared like i'm wow well, i can't even get it out of my mouth i'm hearing fear Something happened in your past life with this person. Um, some of you may know with the phobia card here, like I feel like your soul, your spirit knows that this person in your past life was not not a nice person or they had their you know their issues see this is this is what i'm talking about i i didn't like this energy from the from the beginning and and, and it stems from your past life i don't i don't like this person um because of what they did to you in your past life and it wasn't pretty. Um, all right, let me see what else I could pick up. Um, you know, okay, so what does that mean when I say it wasn't pretty? It was violent. If it wasn't violent, it was aggressive. But what the fuck is the difference? Of course, you know, one could be much more awful than the other, depending on, the, on, on what happened. I don't know if you could pick that up, Virgos, with this person, or you have picked it up, but I know I'm talking to my Virgos that already dealt with some type of violent or aggressive behavior with this person. So if you're trying to figure out who the hell it is, bingo, that person. I'm also picking up, again, someone that you had a very strong relationship with, a commitment. You know whether you share children with this person or not. You might have, you might have um, had children in the past life together with the father card here. This person could have been your father, and they were the abusive, you know, parent in some shape, form, or other in your past life. That's strong. It's coming in strong. Um, be careful. I don't think this person has changed because I, you know, and I'm saying that because I picked it up in your reading. Not as strong as I'm picking it up now, but it's, it's, 
it's coming in strong and again uh, for a lot of you it's, it's a karmic relationship okay so you're probably not with this person and if you are you it's because you're probably co-parenting right or you know you know what i mean i mean whatever you know that story more than me my loves uh, all right um You know, I, I don't know why. I just I just turned around and looked at the Ten of Wands. Which is at the bottom of the deck. Um, for some of you in the past life, two things happen. Um, one or one of one of two things happen. Either you died with this person, like you and this person died in a tragic, some type of tragic, um, either accident or event. I don't know. Um, so you guys like died together, you know, um, and it was tragic, you know, or this person. Um, left you to die like that's what i'm hearing like this person left you to die in your past life with the ton of wands um again strong fire if that means anything to you and and i'm also picking air and water all right i'm over you virgos <laughs> if you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.